Hi guys, this is IGCSE O level chemistry, paper 22, June 2019, question 11. Fuel cells are used as energy sources in cars. Which row gives a fuel used in a fuel cell and the products formed? So the fuel used in a fuel cell would be either hydrogen or oxygen gas because both of them are used as fuel. So this eliminates options C and D. And let's look at the products formed. So in the case of A, the products formed are carbon dioxide and water. Water is correct. Carbon dioxide is incorrect because the fuels are hydrogen and oxygen, which will react together to form water only, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 12. Two elements, X and Y, react together to form a covalent molecule as shown. The reaction is exothermic, which eliminates options A and C because they have an energy change value with a positive sign which makes them endothermic reaction. So we are left with options B and D. Now, the reaction is X2 gas plus Y2 gas gives 2XY gas. The bond energies are shown in the table. So we have bond breaking taking place with X and X. So that would be 436 plus Y and Y would be 242. So these, this is the energy required to break the bonds of the reactants. And we subtract from this the energy release when bonds are formed. So that would be 2 into X, the bond energy for XY bond is 431. So this is the equation. So this will give us our delta H value of minus 184 kilojoules per mole making option B the correct option for this question. Question 13, which change in reaction condition increases both the collision rate and the proportion of molecules with sufficient energy to react? Addition of a catalyst, this will not have any change on the molecules with sufficient energy to react. It lowers, the, no, no, it will have no effect on the collision rate. It will have no effect on the collision rate because this is a catalyst, it speeds up the rate of reaction. So rate of reaction increases by lowering the activation energy requirement, not by increasing the rate of collision. So this is not it. Next, increasing the concentration of a reactant. So this will increase, increase the collision rate, not the proportion of molecules with sufficient energy to react. Increasing the surface area will again increase the collision rate, not the proportion of molecules with sufficient energy to react. Increasing the temperature of the reaction. Yes, temperature is directly proportional to the kinetic energy possessed by the molecules. So this increases the collision rate and also the proportion of molecules with sufficient energy to react because all molecules gain kinetic energy. So this is correct. Therefore, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 14. When blue-green crystals of nickel-2 sulfate are heated, water is produced and the yellow solid remains. When water is added to the yellow solid, the blue-green color returns. Which process describes these changes? So we have nickel-2 sulfate when being heated, having its water removed, producing a yellow solid. And when water is added to the yellow solid, so the blue-green color returns. So this is not combustion because combustion is burning in oxygen. This is not corrosion because that is a chemical reaction with oxygen. There is no oxygen involved here in the reaction. This is not a neutralization reaction because we don't have acid and bases reacting together. This is a reversible reaction because the color changes from blue-green to yellow and then yellow to blue-green. Therefore, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 15. The equation for the manufacture of ethanol is shown. Ethene plus steam gives ethanol. What is the effect of doubling the pressure on this reaction? If we increase the pressure, the equilibrium moves towards the side with the lesser number of moles. Since there are two moles of reactants and one mole of product, the equilibrium will shift forward. 
increasing the yield of ethanol so the options are decreases the rate of formation of ethanol incorrect increases the yield of ethene incorrect decreases the rate of formation of ethene it will not have an effect on the rate incorrect increase the yield of ethanol yes since the forward reaction is favored the yield of ethanol increases making option d the correct option for this question question 16 the ionic equation for the reaction of aqueous potassium bromide with chlorine gas is shown which statement is correct bromide ions are oxidized by gaining electrons so bromide are converted to bromine bromide has a charge of minus one bromine has a charge of zero so bromide ions are oxidized to bromine and oxidation is loss of electrons not gain of electrons next bromide ions are oxidized by losing electrons yes that is exactly what happens next chlorine is oxidized no chlorine is converted into chloride ions. so zero to minus one would be a gain of electrons which would be reduction so chlorine is not oxidized and chlorine is not oxidized by lose loss of electrons therefore option b is the correct option for this question question 17 which type of oxide are carbon monoxide and aluminum oxide so carbon monoxide is a neutral oxide eliminating options a and b and aluminum oxide is an amphoteric oxide eliminating option d and making option c the correct option for this question question 18 the position of elements w x y and z in the periodic table are shown which elements form basic oxide so w will form a basic oxide because it is in group one and it represents lithium x will form a basic oxide because it is in group two and represents strontium y will form a basic oxide because it represents copper and copper oxide is basic z is representing iodine and iodine will not form a basic oxide so w x and y form basic oxides making option a the correct option for this question question 19 which row shows the difference between a weak acid and a strong acid so a weak acid is fully ionized no concentrated that is not how you define a weak acid so concentrated and dilute are both something that you cannot define a weak acid with partially ionized is correct so it means option option d would be correct but let's look at what the strong acid column has to say strong acid is not partially ionized dilute and concentrated do not represent strong and weak in acids strong acids are fully ionized yes so option d is the correct option for this question question 20 part of the period table is shown which row describes the properties of X, Y, and Z? Y belongs to group 1, Z is a transition metal, and X is fluorine, a halogen, or a non-metal. Okay. So, good conductor of electricity would be Y and Z. X will not be a conducting electricity at all. And high melting point would be that of the transition metal, which is Z. So, this makes option C the correct option for this question.